lalo na doon sa mga nanonood sa atin sa Facebook Live. Welcome po sa programang Bidang Bida ang ating kagandahan at kalusugan. Ang programang magbibigay sa atin ng mga dapat nating malaman lalong lalo na sa ikabubuti ng ating pangangatawan. Ito po ang inyong matatakbuhan sa problemang pangkalusugan. Ako po si Bien Gatless at ito po ang Pinoy Health and Wellness. Yan! Uy, uh, welcome po muna dun sa mga nanonood sa atin sa, sa cable channel natin. Lalo na na po sa Facebook at mga OFWs na patuloy po nga nanonood sa atin at nagbibigay ng kanilang mga questions, questions, lalo na pagdating sa ating kalusugan. At yan! Sa araw pong ito, ang ating pag-uusapan ay palagay ko maraming makakarelate. Kagaya ng mga nakaraan, syempre pag-uusapan kalusugan eh, relate na relate tayo dyan. Pero sa ating pag-uusapan ngayon, naku po, eh, maraming may problema sa mga ganito. At uh, kadalasan sa mga naiisip nating uh, treatment ay mga hilot. Tapos yung iba naman, sabi nga nila eh medyo may kaya, nagpa-physical therapy. Oh, di ba? Kasi may, may pagkakaiba pala itong dalawang to, ang reflexology at saka physical therapy. At ngayong araw na ito, ay ating pag-uusapan ng tungkol dyan para lahat tayo ay maliwanagan. At sa ating uh, pag-uusap ngayon dito sa Pinay Health and Wellness, siyempre isang special na doktor ang ating makakasama para alam mo niyo, yung talagang uh, sa kanya muna, sa kanya manggagaling ang lahat-lahat uh, na dapat natin malaman. Lalo na doon sa mga nalilito, bakit nga ba may tinatawag pang hilot at meron pang iba pang tinatawag, di ba? So, ito na. Ang ating uh, doktor na makakasama ngayon, special na special, ang uh, sinasabi nga nito, sinabasa ko ito sa isang article, ano? Sabi niya, this is the first doctor or physical therapist na doctor talaga at hindi lang siya basta PT. Yan. Ang ating makakasama, si Dr. Ron Samaniego ng Active Life of Chicago Physical Therapy. Ayan. Thanks for having me. Hi, Doc. Uh, magandang araw po sa inyo. Kamusta po kayo? Good, good. You're, you're doing good? Yeah. Ito, <laughs> Doc, uh, I believe uh, ang ating uh, ang ating klinika ay uh, nanggaling pa sa ibang bansa. Tama po ba, Doc? Yeah, yeah. I had four clinics sa, ano, sa Chicago, Milwaukee area. Mm -hmm. And then I, I noticed may needs sa Philippines as so I came home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oo nga, Doc, no? kasi dito, karaniwan sa atin, ang maraming nakakaalam lang is yung pilot. At pagkakunwari, may, may pananakit ng ng mga kalamnan, yung mga joints, ang madalas nilang pinupuntahan, hilot or reflexology, ang tinatawag nila doon. Um, ano po ba ang difference ng doc? What is the difference of uh, re uh, reflexology o hilot at saka ng physical therapy, which is your special uh, specialty? Well, first of all, yung hilot, natuto sila, probably if they got, it got passed on, mm -hmm. you know, from one relative to another. And then, uh, they work on uh, special points in the body that also relates to the organs, no? Mm -mm. Na, na nilang mahil. Mm -hmm. And it's been proven to, uh, by many, na nag work naman. Pero there's still a lot of study that needs to be done by it. Mm -hmm. Unlike in physical therapy, it takes uh, a lot of studying. Uh, in, especially in the States nga, ano na, mayroon ng five-year degree, tapos magpo-postgrad ka pa ng wow. doctor or PT. So talagang technically you're a doctor talaga. Yan talaga. Mm -hmm. yeah. So parang uh, ano to doc? Is it like uh, you'll have this parang mga doktor ng ng surgery yung sa surgery parang ganyan meron kayong title talaga ano. Mm -hmm. Mas mas specialized lang syempre yung mga surgeon obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, us we, we specialize in our field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dun, uh, doc you, you you took up this this course ibang mm -hmm. bansa. Syempre hindi po dito sa Pilipinas uh -huh. yan ano. Pero um was, ano po yung particular na course for this? Uh, it's it's called ano, Doctor of Physical Therapy Program. Mm -hmm. So you have to have your bachelor's first, your five-year degree mo, and then you can jump into a post-grad, mm -hmm. which is about three and a half years. Uh, so and then you, you graduate with a degree. Wow. Well, of course intensive, you have. Doctor. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be board certified too before you can even get in. Mm -hmm. So medyo intensive talaga. Mm -hmm. For that doc, um, do you believe may iba pang Filipino na nag nagte take up ng ganitong classic course? Mara marami, marami. Sa ibang bansa marami. In fact, I think sa Philippines na open up na eh, mm -hmm. yung online access nila. So, uh, marami na rin nagte take ngayon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for now, dito sa Philippines doc, uh, you're you're the only one. Na, na alam ko na nagpa-practice dito. Nang nang PT. Na dito sa mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, sabi niyo kanina doc, um dun sa pag-uusap natin off cam, uh, you're doing this na meron di, meron kayong uh, training for for this lalo na dun sa mga Pilipinong gustong matutunan ng physical therapy na level up kumbaga. 
Mm, kasi they graduate with a bachelor's degree and oftentimes the Philippines and culture they, they they listen to what the medical doctor is saying mm -hmm. and I always tell my PTs sa mundo natin we're the expert mm -hmm. so you know you got you got to make a decision on your own mm -hmm. so in a way parang minimot ko mata nila this is how we do it na sa ibang bansa mm -hmm. so this needs to change mm -hmm. yeah. and speaking of doing that uh, uh, doc ano po ba yung difference muna bago natin puntahan talaga yung yung difference ng physical therapy and reflexology. Ano po ba talaga yung difference ng uh, physical therapy sa US at dito sa atin sa Pilipinas? Yun nga, um, dito, yung mga PT dito, they graduate, graduate with a bachelor's degree. Tapos yung mga doctors na nagkukman sa akin and gives the orders para kung anong gagawin nila. Mm -mm. Even though they know what to do naman. Kaya lang, syempre, sa, in a way, pa, sabi nga sa akin ng friend ko, parang sidekick daw ang PT dito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sabi ko, well, not anymore. Mm -hmm. not, sa, not, not sa state. So, so when I saw that, sabi ko, maybe it's time to open up their minds. Kasi mm -hmm. dahil mga graduates, mga UP graduates, USC graduates, mga gandang schools, pero ganun pa rin ang practice eh. Mm -hmm. so, so we're changing it in a way na, uh, in fact, sa states, may tinatawag na Vision 2020, lahat ng graduate ng PT, doctor na. Oh, I see. In 2020. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, ah, okay. So, ibig sabihin, Dok, hindi ka nilang basta isa-certify as uh, PT ka na lang. Oh, so, no. it's, it's now a doctor na. Doctor degree wow. na. Wow. Mm -hmm. Kaya medyo may hirapan pumasok yung mga foreign grads, especially coming mm -hmm. from the Philippines, kung wala sila nun eh. Mm -hmm. Ano yeah. po bang kulang dito sa Pilipinas, uh, Dok, dun sa mga meron na sa ibang bansa? Well, Pagdating sa physical therapy. Yung, syempre, mga new procedures, mm -hmm. mga gamit na mga nagbago na. Kasi up to now, parang 25 years, 30 years, parang back, ano pa rin tayo eh. Nandun pa rin tayo namumuhay. Mm -hmm. uh, when I came back last year, nakita ko na ganun pa rin, hot pack, ultrasound, mm -hmm. tens, yung kuryente, and random exercises. And unfortunately, that, that doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Kung minor pain siguro pwede, kaya lang if you have those, maybe you should go to Bangbang and buy those equipment. Yes, lang, no? mm -hmm. It's much cheaper. Mm -hmm. so, Pero yung mga equipment, Doc, meron na rin dito tayo sa Pilipinas? Some. Some. Mm -hmm. Some, oh. Pero yung mga ginagamit ko kasi, uh, talagang doon lang, doon ko lang kinukuha eh. Sa US talaga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, ito Doc, uh, putahan na natin. Ito na, pinaka-topic natin for today. Ano ba yung difference ng physical therapy sa reflexology o hilot sa mga Pinoy? Oftentimes, ang first response ng Pilipino, o knee-jerk response ng Pilipino is to, ah, sakit ng shoulder ko, punta ako sa hilot. Yeah, no. Right? And, and oftentimes, uh, me, I personally experienced it, nag-work naman. Nag-work mm -hmm. naman. Pero, pero, um, we don't know the science behind it yet. Eh. Oh, parang, eh. Actually, uh, sobrang tagal ng panahon eh. Itong mm -hmm. hilot-hilot na yan, uh, parang sa mga inununu pa yata natin to Doc, di ba? Mm -hmm. Na um, what they do pagka may, may uh, muscle pain, hilot-hilot lang. As in, kamay lang ang ginagamit, walang mm -hmm. ibang equipment. So ngayon, dahil makabagong panahon na, yan na, dumating na yung equipment. Oh, there's, so, there's so many ways to address the issue now. Mm -hmm. Hindi na lang yung dating hilot-hilot lang, kamay yes. lang. Uh, although, I feel na may merit pa rin yun eh, kung mapag-aaralan na maayos eh. Mm -mm. In fact, kahit ako na-amaze eh, na napagaling ako ng isang matanda. Na, mm -mm. Na, hindi, nagpunta ako sa hospital, hindi ako napagaling, pero siya napagaling niya ako. Oh. <laughs> And hanggang ngayon, hindi niyo pa rin alam kung bakit. Yeah. Well, I was thinking she probably did some trigger point therapy oh. on me na without knowing it. Mm -hmm. uh, pero yun yung closest na naiisip ko eh. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. In physical therapy po ba, Doc, parang ano din yan, uh, meron din silang tinatawag ng mga pressure points. Um, tawag dito, pa paano niyo po ba nilalaman kung, kung uh, ang kailangan ba niya ay hilot lang or physical therapy na? Often times, yung mga pumunta naman ang tao sa amin, they've been to everyone already. Mm -hmm. Often times, hindi mo gumagaling sa massage or hilot. So what we do is we employ yung mga equipment na namin at the same time yung knowledge base na namin na mm -hmm. sa ba talaga nang gagaling to. So that's when we look, yung so look at the source and then we find it and then uh, we recommend a, a, a series of treatment. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ibig sabihin, Doc, parang um, physical, ay uh, yung reflexology is the basic. Parang ganun. Tapos, so, nalilevel up na lang siya with PT. I guess sa Pilipinas, so, kaya lang siya because they, wala naman sila talagang school na mm -hmm. binanggaling. Burst in PT talagang is a science. Mm -hmm. uh, mas formal ang study. Um, uh, if you think about it, parang yun yung pinaka, ano eh, parang prehistoric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> prehistoric talaga, parang dinosaur era pa naman yun. <laughs> Medyo matagal But na. you think about acupuncture, it's the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. They've been around for so many years. Yes. Na, diba? mm -hmm. At saka din nila pa ng mga Chinese yan sa atin mm -hmm. dito sa mm -hmm. Pilipinas. And until now, it, they've been doing that pa rin. Saka parang yung, yung effect niya, hindi naman nagbago. Oh, in fact, as we do it, but we call it dry needling na, no? Mm -hmm. Uh, unlike acupuncture, where, where they address the chi, mm -hmm. as we go directly to the muscles or the nerves that we need to hit. Mm -hmm. so. Alright, pagdating po ba, Doc, sa physical therapy, ano po yung usual na ginagawang uh, 
o uh, yung usual na tinitreat ng mga ng uh, PT? Uh, sa Philippines, I guess, common ang stroke, ano? Mm -mm. Uh, but because we're in uh, pain management, we, we treat a lot of shoulder cases. I don't know kung ba't maraming shoulder cases dito, pero sometimes it happens overnight, sometimes it happens over time. Mm -mm. Kay lalaki, kay babae, kay athlete, meron eh. Mm -mm. Yung mga tinatawag na frozen shoulders. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, for example, Doc, um, sige, puntahan muna natin yung hilot. Ang minsan, yung hilot po, nakakatulong na siya to ease up the, the lagnat, parang ganyan, yung fever. Uh -huh. Nakakatulong siya. With PT po ba, it works din? Um, kung, kung may fever na, it's, it's, it's a different, it's a different story na. No? Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's musculoskeletal, meaning the bones, the muscles, the nerves, um, yeah, yeah, we could address those. Pero pag may mga systemic issue na na, na fever, mm -hmm. baka may mabilang gagalingin na na mas malalayo. Na, no? mm -hmm. so, Yun yung, uh, parang doon na po mapasok yung hilot. Maring sa, sa mga baryo-baryo, yeah, mm -mm. That's, what they, that's what they do. Mm -mm. Doc, um, pero do you believe na, um, lalo na yung iba na uh, yung merong, merong uh, bato sa, sa, ano sa bato? kidney, o, sa kidney mm -hmm. tapos yung iba pang mga diseases, minsan kasi they're, they're saying na hilot lang yan, ganyan, i-massage lang natin yung matatanggal na. With you as, a, an, as an expert, as a doctor na of physical therapy, that works po ba? Or, or can I, I, you recommend that for? I, I guess kung talagang kung talagang walang diagnosis mm -mm. na yun yung issue nila, and baka talagang hindi naman talaga yon, maokuwa. Mm -mm. eh. Sa paano kung talagang meron ng kidney stone, hindi mm -mm. mo ako sa ilo tila tay. Eh. Mm -mm. yeah, it needs to be it needs to be uh, attended to by a professional talaga no? like mm -mm. a medical doctor na rin. Mm -mm. Yeah, to 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 ano para ma maolang kidney stone. Mm -hmm. Based from your experience, doc, um, you've been here in the Philippines from uh, since October 2015, and mm -hmm. um, meron na kayong four clinics, correct, doc? Uh, nine dito ngayon. Sa, nine ngayon right dito sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. um, based dun sa ilang buwan nari naman, almost a year na. Uh, ano po ba sa tingin niyo yung problema ng mga Pinoy? Bakit hindi sila, hindi nila maiwan-iwan yung hilot? And parang nagiging secondary o minsan panghuli na nilang option yung PT. Like, like, like I said, it's a knee-jerk reaction for a lot of people. Mm -mm. Kasi lumaki ako na ganun eh. Mm -mm. Parang tayo lumaki tayo sa Jollibee, di ba? Yes. <laughs> so we eat there all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kahit sa tayo yung punta, hanapin natin yun. Sila din, uh, uh, for a lot of people or a lot of Filipinos, ang unang response nila is, pahilot ko to kasi mas atuhod ko eh. Uh, pangalawa, syempre money rin. Money mm -hmm. is an issue, di ba? For a lot of people. So, mm -hmm. so it's a lot cheaper kung magbibigay ka ng talong or chicken, di ba? <laughs> kapalit so, ng hilo. Kapalit ng hilo, di ba? <laughs> Correct. So, so it's, it's much more accessible to them. Mm -hmm. Versus, isipin na punta pa ako sa hospital, punta pa ako sa clinic para magpapiti, magkaming babayad ko. May, mm -hmm. Yun ang inisip ng karamihan eh. Mm -hmm. but, but to those naman na talagang uh, may, may, may capacity and, if, and talagang ayaw lang pumunta doon sa government uh, facilities, yeah, that's, that's when they come to us, no? sa mga private clinics. Mm -mm. And based from uh, from your expertise, uh, Doc, dito sa Pilipinas, kasi I believe naman may mga nakausap ka ng ibang mga PTs, uh, ano po yung usual na nagiging uh, parang idinudulog nila sa inyo? Or like they're asking, ano po ba yung kailangan natin gawin para ma-level up yung PT dito sa Pilipinas? Yeah, often that's what I see. Kahit, kahit, kahit sa pag-graduate kay mm -hmm. UP, USD, or wherever, uh, ganun pa rin eh. For everything and anything, we still do the, the, the proverbial ano, hot pack, ultrasound, tens, yung kuryente, mm -hmm. tapos bibigyan ka ng exercises. And personally me, if I'm already hurting and bibigyan mo ako exercise, I wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. diba? So if, if, if someone asks me for help, mm -hmm. I'm gonna find a, a, a solution to that. Yun, yun yung sinasabi ko sa kanya. Uh, PTs can offer a lot more than just hot pack therapy, mm -hmm. <laughs> which you can do at home. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. so, so, kahit so, bote lang yan, lagyan mo na mainit at tubig, exactly, pwede na. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend so much money. Pwede yes. may hack yun eh. Mm -hmm. Pero yeah, so sinasabi sa kanila, guys, there's, there's a lot more. Ang common, ang, ang common na sinasabi sa akin, Dok, eto na lang ba? Hanggang dito na lang ba kami? Mm -hmm. I'm like, no! There's a big world out there waiting for you. So, so when I train them at my office, nakikita nila, ah, pwede palang gawin. Mm -hmm. Meron pa palang mas marami, mas exciting pa pala. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, kasi frankly, most PTs took the, took the course kasi they wanna go out eh. Oo, oh, oh, kasi diba? mas mahal lang sahod pagdating yeah. sa ibang bansa. You're making around 6 to 8 grand a month. Wow. Oh, mm -hmm. Gross Kaya. gross income nila, malaki eh. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so ba't sila mag-stay, di ba? Mm -hmm. If they could make that much money. Mm -hmm. Pero, pero siya sa akin, there's, may buhay sa Philippines, mas maganda. Mm -hmm. Mas maganda dito, there's a reason why I'm here kasi una-una Pilipino tayo. Yeah. We love our country and mm -hmm. of course, we'd rather serve our countrymen than than outside, you know? mm -hmm. so I brought all that knowledge here. Eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, hanggang ngayon, eh, ito yung sinusundan ng mga hanggang trainees ngayon. natin. Hanggang ngayon, ganun yung ginagawa nila from, from a student 
to kahit yung training ko sila sa hospital eh. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, ganun pa rin practice. They volunteer without pay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tapos ka ng five-year course yeah, na may, may yun. PRC ka. Correct. Yun yung problema yeah. din ng most na mga. Kaya, kaya siguro na, napuputat sila doon sa decision na iwan talaga nila ang Pilipinas. Yeah, it's as I said, you don't demand for a raise. Mm-mm. You get more education, you come back and build up your own <laughs> clinic. Mm-mm. Para then then you could command your price. Correct. Diba? Tama dok. Yeah, you this is sabi ko sa nurses eh. You can't command the hospitals to give you a raise. Mm-mm. You got you got to get an advanced degree. <laughs> and and then put up your own. Put up your own. Kasi sa even sa America, may nurse practitioner na. Mm-mm. They prescribe. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's they're good. like many doctors, Mm-mm. not? May nurse anesthetist na rin para anesthesiologist. Mm-mm. They do their own thing. So. Unlike dito sa Philippines, wala, eh, wala. they usually volunteer. Yeah, they lack the training and, you know, mm-hmm. un- unfortunately, our only option is to go out. Mm-hmm. And doc, kasi uh, para dun sa mga Pilipino, gaya na napag-usapan natin kanina, na yung mga Pinoy na hindi pa rin maka, alam mo yung maka-recover, recover. <laughs> hindi maka-alias dun sa usapin ng hilot. Eh. Yeah. Do you do... Um, uh, trainings din sa kanila, or sabihin natin parang seminar para sa kanila na you can also do PT, hindi lang basta hilot. Yeah, um, we do we do lay forums. Mm-mm. Kasi may mga tanong yung mga ibang pasyente, yung yes. parent patient, yung mga relatives nila, they come to the office. Mm-mm. And we do a lay forum, ano ba pwede kong gawin sa bahay? And once we see them, ay kita naman natin na there's, hindi mong ganun kasama yung sitwasyon to Mm-mm. begin with. So we could give them something that they could do at home. Uh, of course, you know, being in PT, you have to do your homework too. Yes. Parang, parang nasa school eh. Mm-mm. Hey, you know, I'm gonna finish this program. Kung natapos ko to, magaling na yung likod ko. Mm-mm. Something like that. But you have to do your part. Uh, but of course, when we when you're in our office, we do our part too. Yeah. So, Kung baga constant talaga yung learning. Pag- constant. Oh, mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Itong mga ano natin, doc, uh, mga pasyente natin, I believe may mga pumupunta sa inyo na parang siguro, gaya nga kanina, na parang last option na yung PT. Um, ano yung usual na idinadaing nila? Yung mga galing sa hilot, doc, ha? Mm-hmm. So ano yung mga usual na dinadaing nila sa clinic niyo? Sasabihin lang neck pain eh, noong mm-hmm. una. Pero, in fact, it's more of a shoulder pain. Mm-hmm. Yung tinatawag na frozen shoulders. Mm-hmm. Mga sabi mo frozen shoulders, often, tapos pag di mo na maangat yung kamay mo, saka yung likod mo, di mo nabot yung bra mo, mm-hmm. sala, saka kababay yan. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, especially taxi drivers too. They drive all day, no? Hindi na maangat yung kamay nila. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung pinaka-common issues na nakikita natin. Mm-hmm. And uh, you address it naman with a series of ano po ba yan? A series um, of uh, therapy. True, but but um, on your first visit, we make sure na meron changes. Otherwise, we can accept you. Eh. Mm-hmm. Baka surgical case yun. Mm-hmm. Baka kailangan talaga ng surgery nun. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, we don't we don't, uh, we don't accept everyone mm-hmm. uh, who comes to our office. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Ito, Dok, doon sa mga ano, nakasanayan na yung magpahilot. Uh, usually, um, ang nangyayari, isang hilot lang. Ganda na. Feeling nila okay na. Mm-hmm. Pakiramdam nila okay na. So, uh, ayaw nila, kaya ayaw din nila ng physical therapy. Kasi nga, usually may series may of series, ano yan, yeah. therapies. Mm-hmm. So, paano yun, Dok? Paano yung pinapaliwanag sa kanila na hindi, you need talaga sessions eh. Hindi pwedeng basta isa lang. Yeah, like example, yung frozen shoulder nga, yung adhesive capsulitis, mm-hmm. no? I was telling them, adhesive kasi dumikit, parang mighty bond. Capsulitis kasi the whole capsule na maga. So, hindi mo may move yan. So, unfortunately, kahit hiluti ng hilutin, because it's, meron ng problema na mechanical, mm-hmm. hindi mo basta-basta maaayos. So, parang bahay, kung yung pondasyon mo bumigay, yes. kahit itape mo na itape yan, Nakabigay pa rin yun. Mm-hmm. So, someone has to fix it. Yeah, someone has to fix it. Mm-hmm. So, naiintindihan naman lang when I say it that way. Mm-hmm. So, wala namang problema sa kanya they accept everything. Oh, saka oftentimes when they come to us, Doc, I've been to Hilot, I've been to Massage, I've been to mm-hmm. several doctors. Kulang na lang, mangkukulang, puntahan ko. <laughs> right? so, the, oh, oh, to try everything. Yeah, to try everything, yeah. No? yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, basically, so for a lot of people, we're, we're the last resort talaga. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And pagdating dun kasi, Doc, uh, part of the hilot is yung iba pa mga treatments like yung, yung mga bentosa. Oh, th- those yung, are good. Uh, I love those. <laughs> pero hindi naman siya, it doesn't contradict naman PT, Doc. No, no, no. no. In, in fact, it would help it, you know, because it, it works on the muscle and works, uh, works on the circulation. Bakit hindi? It, is it going to correct the issue? Probably not, but it's going to help it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So parang they work hand in hand naman? They work hand in hand. Mm-mm. So gusto pa hilot at the same ako PT ka, why not? Ayan. All right. Ito doc, uh, medyo nang umusa na tayo ng oras. Sure, sure. Uh, itong uh, hilot kasi it's it's a big issue talaga no pagdating sa mga Pinoy kasi nga ito yung nakasanayan nila. Ayan. For those na lang na for those uh, Pinoy doc na hindi naniniwala pa rin sa PT at parang ayong subukan, ano po yung mensahe niyo para sa kanila? I'd say try it all. Try it all. Um pag ninyo na talaga, pag di talaga gumaling, that's when you come and see us. See a professional 
na talagang who's gonna look into your case and fix it. Alright. Ayan, Doc. Sige, it's your time na. Bigay ko na po sa inyo ang floor. Um, kung uh, saan po ba kayo nila pwedeng mapuntahan na po yung mga klinika na pwede nilang puntahan. At yung mga pwede po nilang tawagan in, if you have Facebook also. Sure. Guys, you can call us at 997-5704. Uh, we will be directed to our Shaw office. Uh, we're, we're all over Metro Manila now. We're in Shaw, Quezon City, Alabang, Binondo, Novali, Santa Rosa, um, Caloacan. Um, we have nine branches, so uh, if you call that number and check us out on Facebook so you can see yung before and after natin, so you can see, you know, pag-aralan nyo muna maigi, do your, do your homework before you even come. Mm -hmm. And your Facebook doc is Active Life? Active Life Chicago PT. Mm -mm. Ayan. So, puntahan niyo lang yung uh, mga binanggit ni Doc at makikita naman niya sa ating, uh, dito sa ating graphics na yan. Ayan. Makikita niyo dyan kung ano yung uh, pwede niyong tawagan. And Doc, do you answer uh, questions po ba sa Facebook directly? Yeah, I do answer it. Mm -mm. So, para dun sa mga nanonood sa atin sa Facebook Live, uh, kung meron kayong uh, katanungan, lalo na pagdating sa... Kung hindi na kayo naniniwala si Hilo, or sabihin na natin na lahat rinay nyo na, gaya na pag-usapan namin ni Doc kanina, lahat rinay nyo na, nagpabentosa na kayo, nagpahilot na kayo, pumunta na kayo sa mga, um, sa mga quack doctors. <laughs> so you say it, <laughs> di ba? Ayan. Um, ito, puntahan nyo na yung clinic niya, ni Doc Ron. Ayan. Nandun lang yan sa graphics natin. So if you want to, ano, to, uh, to know again kung ano yung number ni Doc F, you can go back naman and play the, uh, and uh, click the replay na lang. Ayan, dyan sa ating Facebook Live. Ayan. Uh, alam ko maraming mga naka, kumbaga eh, talagang nagtanong sa atin, Doc. Maybe by next episode natin, na pag usapan naman natin ang uh, ilan sa mga major problems sa mga Pinoy pagdating sa muscle pain or sa ating mga joints. Ayan, mas maganda yan kasi siguradong maraming magtatanong sa atin. Ayan, at uh, maraming salamat po for staying with us. Uh, dito pa rin tayo, ano, kasama natin si Doc uh, Ron sa sa Maniego. Ayan, ng Active Life uh, Chicago Physical Therapy. Ayan, sa hanggang sa susunod na ating uh, pagsasama-sama dito sa Pinoy Health and Wellness, dahil sa usaping kalusugan, we should always uh, remember that prevention is still better than cure. Makita-kita po tayo muli. Ako pa rin po ang inyong nakasama ko po si Vien Daclas. Hanggang sa susunod na episode ng Pinoy Health and Wellness.